Welcome to this overview of what's new in Carlson 2021. This release runs on AutoCAD versions 2021 through 2017. It also comes with IntelliCAD 10 built into the install. There are over 200 new features in this release. I will cover some highlights starting with general commands and then by module. IntelliCAD 10 has a new graphics engine with faster performance and advanced visual style features. The side tool palette comes with key Carlson commands and allows you to customize by drag and drop to rearrange the commands or add commands. Revision control is available to track changes to the drawing, even from multiple users. Improving MTEX is a focus of this release. More DGN commands are complete, including dimensions. When running with IntelliCAD, the CADNET module has new BIM features. You can insert BIM models from Revit and IFC into the drawing. There's a BIM properties pane where you can control visibility for different categories of the model. You can snap to points in the BIM model, such as using endpoint snap to pick the corner of a wall. You can also draw new BIM objects, including walls, doors, windows, stairs, and railings. There's a new streamlined way to use Carlson Photo Capture. From Carlson Survey, you can browse your photo capture projects and download the results, including tin surfaces, coordinate files, point clouds, and images. Draw 3D Polyline has a couple new features to note. You can now draw both 2D and 3D polylines at the same time, which is handy for having both the true arcs in the 2D polyline and the elevated arc chords of the 3D polyline. Also, when you have the 3D viewer active, the 3D polyline is simultaneously drawn in CAD and the 3D viewer, which you can rotate around to see how your 3D polyline fits with the rest of your model. Dynamic point labels automatically resize the point number, elevation, description, and symbol as you zoom in and out. This way you can keep the point labels readable no matter your zoom level. Adaptive point sizing in point cloud sizes the cloud points larger that are nearer your view. Register cloud has a new least squares method that handles multiple control points. There's a new smooth tin function and ability to color the tin faces using the cloud point colors. Creating and editing polylines have new interfaces and features. Volumes have new methods and custom reporting. Curb Profiles creates profiles for the top of curb, back of curb, and gutter flow line from a reference edge of pavement profile. You can apply different curb types by station range from a library of curb types. Triangulation Surface Manager has more updates, including undo for the last edit while staying in the editor, and saving your changes to the tin file using apply while in the editor. The program also logs your edits, which you can review and undo any change. In Row Network, you can now draw profiles or draw cross-sections from a selected road. There's also a new hammerhead style cul-de-sac as shown here. Road Network now supports self-intersecting roads, such as a road that makes a P shape. An update to Road Design Template is the ability to place a berm at the top of the fill. There are some new parking layout tools. Parking Inside Perimeter creates a parking layout within a closed polyline. You can then grip edit the perimeter and the layout dynamically updates. Parking Along Alignment creates a series of parking stalls, islands, and zones along a center line. You can elevate the parking layout for quick site modeling. There's also a new command for creating parking islands of different styles. Hydronet Explorer added processing methods for EPA SWIM and Rational, and the reporting supports combining the pre and post development results. The GIS module now supports more database platforms of ODBC and Esri File GeoDatabase. These new data platforms store both geometry and GIS data. This allows sharing data between Carlson and other third-party software such as QGIS and Esri ArcGIS. For creating a solid model from a scan, 
the solid bisection has new controls for the sample width and triangulating the ends. You can also make a solid for an open surface like a cliff face. Solid by survey is a new command to create a solid from survey points plus a perimeter polyline. Merge solids has a new algorithm that handles larger solid models. Tunnel network is a new command that is similar to road network, except the output is a solid model and the design template is a tunnel cross-section. Solids timing is a new command for equipment timing through 3D solid models for an underground mine. Quantities are calculated from a geologic model. The timing handles precedence rules and supports making subsections of the solid models. We hope that you like Carlson 2021. For more details on the improvements, visit our website at the address shown here. For Carlson customers on the maintenance program, you will receive an email with your Carlson 2021 serial numbers. You can also go to our website to look up your serial numbers. The latest Carlson 2021 download will be posted on our website. Thank you for watching.